I am so sick of all these white people saying that anti-white racism is a thing because it's not. Racism is privilege plus power, and you can't convince me otherwise. Take a look at okay. what is stunning me in both today's society. Here's some propaganda yourself, from a white nationalist, obviously. You have a token white, and you're hanging out with your friend group of color. You need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. Like, don't just bring them. I might not be in the I mean, that's fair. white shenanigans that day. That's that's all I'm saying. And another thing, it feeds into I their mean, I, ego. Like, I do don't, shenanigans. Don't let them think they're a good white person. Accomplices ask, oh. how can they support black and indigenous people of color? And sometimes I really don't know what to say, but here's one easy way. Just don't have babies. Men can single-handedly oh. cause the white genocide that they are so... Th afraid. That's just a phrase. It's not the 2.25 billion Asian women and half a billion white men Baby, it'll only take two generations. That I don't have a problem with, let's be honest. In two generations, there will no longer be any blonde haired. These are some things I noticed about white oh. American culture. Being grounded is a punishment to them. That's what they call punishment. Mm. The what? least grounded, well. least balanced, most destructive race considers well, being grounded. I mean, she has a, a point, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. They also say really violent that, right? phrases. What is with Caucasian people in like their inability to like read a fucking room? Like, right. That's what I've been saying. Act like you don't understand shit because y'all be the first ones I during a conversation about the Holocaust to get so mad when black people be like you do realize that the original Jewish people were black, right? Um if there's anyone from the uh, Israeli government watching this, which <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're always watching. Um, I disapprove of this officially. White people do not need to explain to anybody about us all bleeding red because, baby, you all are the people that need to learn that lesson. Clearly, history I, shows. I mean, cl that that's just coming from a place of love and progressive empathy. You know, bl bl <laughs> right? I mean, obviously, again, racism is only privilege plus power, and so that's it can't be. She's just pointing out, like, you know, it's white people's turn to, to get the, you know, beat their ass beat and worse. Is that you all are the people that like to pillage and eradicate, enslave and oppress, attempt to suppress greatness because you all simply don't have it. Right? Here go y'all cum goblins who Damn. don't even live in the fucking city. Which, by the way, the Q-tip people are the last ones to ever talk about somebody Q stealing anything. Y'all. Q-tip people? N no. No, that can't be. That can't be. I wouldn't be in this country had it not been for y'all stealing it. So y'all are more focused on people looting and trying to get necessities and things that they need. And yes, a TV is a fucking necessity. Thank you. You feel like you're better. TV is a goddamn necessity. Beating your Q-tip white ass is a necessity as well. Amen. All right. I am on board the anti-Q-tip train. Because people are out here stealing and oh, you would never. First of all, if you are a male monster. That is how your ancestors got everything from one. stealing. People are and that's a behavior that's very common among white women. You may have not intended that, but there are many white women who act exactly like you. If you can find it in your that's heart this holiday season to donate gross. to the discriminated white fund, you'd be helping millions. Nothing says high protein like cicadas and cheese. Make sure you... F and nothing says caucasity like that right there. What caucasity looks like. Okay, that's not that bad. Only Asian grocery stores like it's an amusement park. We're both white women. We are inherently a danger in spaces for black, indigenous, and other people of color simply by existing. Wow. It's white cis men who are a part of the far right winged ideology of fascism. That is a true threat and the terrorism to this country. If BIPOC stand in the street and scream at the top of their lungs, I hate all white people. I want all white people to go die. Die, white devil, you cracker bitch. Um, that's still not racism. <laughs> I can't think of anything funny to say after that. It just... One of the good white people. Stop separating us from the bad white people. 
Don't sit out there in comments and say, we don't claim them. We are them. We are the ones shooting up schools. We are the ones raping people, the ones enslaving people. All the way to Africa to physically take black people from their homes, shove them in on boats where a lot of them got diseases and died, tell them where they could sit on a bus, tell them which schools they could go to, which water fountains they could use, which bathrooms they could use, and that's sugarcoating it. Those are just terms. I'm not even describing all the disgusting things that happen, and they don't even want revenge? They are letting you guys skate by asking for equal rights? That's it? And you're still saying no? They are not as angry as they should be. Y'all are getting off easy and you're still saying no? Fuck you. Some people look at that. Uh. It's a little psychopathic. Um, I have changed my mind. Anti-white racism is a real thing and it's a problem. And anyone who denies it is probably a rich white person. So anyway, yeah, maybe we should cut all this shit out. That's my opinion.